Hola, this is Krista and I am here to share with you a demonstration of my K6, um, the first class that I offer. There are eight different classes that I offer and those are titled 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, etc. all the way through 4B. And so we're going to take a look at the very entry level class right now. This is 1A. And so this is where you will land. Um, you'll land on the home page, which is where we are right now. And so you'll come in and there's course information that you can review. And um, here's where you can directly link to send an email to me if you would like. And then this is the virtual classroom. If you are buying the option um, for a live classroom meeting, you will go into this link right here and it will take you to a, a whiteboard um, a classroom where we can do presentations and, and um, students can take control as well and draw on the boards and um, I just direct them through fun um, learning activities there. So, and I'm not going to load that right now. It takes a little bit of time to get going on that, but that's where we will go for that if you take that option. Now, the, it's a 10-week course and I'm just showing you the current course that I have running and so we are just in week two. So at the top of each new week, the next week will become available. So pretty soon, um, semana tres will become available, then semana cuatro, semana cinco, all the way down through week ten. So I'm just going to show you what we have here in week number one. So when you go into week one, you'll get a week at a glance. So you'll have the information. Um, so in week one you'll be doing some course orientation and then the lessons for the week will be the numbers 0 through 10 and then also the colors and then there's also always going to be an optional craft if you have crafty kids and they want to um, dig in and do something creative they have that option as well um, so this first week there's a folder for course orientation so you can go in there and just kinda learn about the course and then the next two folders are options for you. Do you want to do the course in three days this week or would you prefer to spread it out over four days? Now, they both contain the exact same information. I've just reshuffled things around um, to kind of balance them out. Um, so obviously if you're doing the three-day course there's going to be more to do on those days than there will be for the four-day course. Now, um, some people actually just do the whole week in one day. Now, again, that's your prerogative, that's your decision. Uh, you'll have a lot to do on that one day. So that'd be fine if that's what you would like to do. And then the Young Artistas craft is the optional craft that you can go into if you want. So I'm just going to show you around the four day week. And so here's your days. So you go into day one. So you just go do them right in the order that they are presented. And so there's always going to be a presentation, a video screencast. And so let me just bring this first one up so you can see a little bit of that. Anyway, so that is how that will work. And then um, you'll just scroll down to the next activity. There is pronunciation here for you. So I've provided files so that you can quickly click on them um, if you're wanting a quick reference to how to say each number. And then there's activities. You Here's one, this is another video one, so I won't click on it, but you do an identify the numbers activity. And then every week there's going to be printables as well. And so you can make flashcards out of them. I make suggestions along the way for how you can use them. And then I try to put in pronunciation guides as well for those. So that's the first day. If I take you back... We'll go into day two, Dia Dos. 
Um, okay, so today we learned the colors. And so here's your presentation. You watch that. And then you've got pronunciation for each of the colors. You've got some color by numbers assignments to do. Um, actually, um, here's the instructions and then the actual sheets are in here. And so you get to do one or all of them. Um, so you just print these off. So there's a Ninjago one for um, Lego fans. Okay. So if I go back into day two, um, then it gives you the option for how to share your favorite color by number because um, in my classes, I don't just turn you loose and just, you know, leave you out there struggling, strangling, you know, hanging out there by yourselves. You're actually going to be submitting things to me for me to look at. Okay, and then I return feedback on those as well. Um, more printables. Okay, so I made a couple of different options for this first set. You can either, if you have a color printer, you can print off those. Or if you don't, then I've just um, made another set with just the English-Spanish translations. Okay. Dia tres will look... Okay, so we have a scattered numbers exercise to do. Um, printables, actually those are the um, same set as before. And then a little mini story that is takes you out to the internet. And then, um, yeah, that those are a couple of internet resources that I had found and brought into the course. Okay, day four, dia cuatro. So color identifying exercise. So again, um, that's uh, I've done a lot of stuff and posted it on YouTube. Hola estudiantes, dos colores. By now you should have practiced in several different ways. So this is a little bit of a test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call out a color in Spanish, and I just simply want you to point to it, and then I will bring my pointer in and point to the correct color that I've said. Okay, so that just gives you an idea on that. Um, another little presentation, um, counting Legos and colors. Okay, so I'm not going to show too much of that. Okay, um, and then you have the option to then share with me. You're going to record yourself and send me this recording. And so you just follow the instructions and it'll give you the option. You can either use your computer microphone to send me a voice email. So you just click on that link. It takes you right to it. Or I also have a Google Plus homeschool Spanish community, which anybody can join now if you'd like. Um, but you can also post stuff there for the whole community to see. And then I have a little quiz. Um, I actually set this quiz up for, um, this quiz is for students who um, have been reading for a while. And then here's a separate quiz, an alternative quiz for emerging readers. So that's just an idea of how it's going to look. Um, I wanted to show you quickly on course information. Um, Let's see the the inside of the orientation I think is where you will find a document that I will be sharing portfolios. Okay, so students will complete portfolios in this class. Actually, we will complete those together. And so week one, there is the color by numbers, there's the quiz, and then there's the option for that saying your Spanish numbers and then sending that voice email to me. And so what I will do is when it's completed, I will put a little gold star next to each one of those over here so that will help you keep on track um, on target for what you're completing in the course. Also, anything you send me, I will take a snapshot of or um, bring it right in to this chart so that in the end you have an artifact of your learning because everything that you send me I'm going to put right in here. So it's kind of cool because at the end of the 10 weeks you'll um, 
you'll have this complete artifact of what you've learned and and what you've accomplished in the class and then if you continue on to the next level um, this one's for 1A course then I just um, attach the 1B right to this so that it just keeps building on the same document for you okay so anyway that's just a little bit um, of a glance at what the class is going to look like so if you have any questions please feel free to email me at Krogan Language Academy at gmail.com and um, I look forward to visiting with you about possibly enrolling in the course. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.